Hello and welcome once again to the Performance Centre here at Howley Hall Golf Club in Leeds where today I'm taking a look at the brand new Rad Speed Iron from Cobra. So as I've mentioned, we have a brand new iron from Cobra to take a look at and we'll get to that in a second. But before we do, please make sure you hit that subscribe button so you see loads more content from all of us here at Golf Shake to help you play more and play better. So the newest iron from Cobra, Rad Speed. Now, um, many of you will have seen uh, other videos that we've done on the rest of the range, but the iron itself has some real breakthrough technology in it. and. It's all to do with uh, Cobra's partnership with HP and Parmatech in the world of 3D printing. So this is the second kind of release that Cobra have brought out um, following on from the Super Sport 35 putter, which we've, we've had a look at and the video's there for you to, to look at as well. So the Rad Speed has the um, basically a 3D printed uh, medallion in the back of it basically so it's a nylon 3d printed medallion and by making it out of nylon and making it in this way in the precision that 3d printing allows so much weight can be saved and moved around the club head to really help performance and make these irons slightly better so we've been sent um, pitching wedge 8 iron and 6 iron of the new rad speed um, so we're going to put them through their paces in a bit on the um, on the trackman on the launch monitor and I'm also going to take them outside onto the golf course play a few holes with them as well and give you some feedback but firstly let's talk about the tech in these golf clubs so let's start with Cobra Connect so those of you that know um, Arcos's partnership with with Cobra continues um, Cobra Connect is in every single Cobra golf club that you buy so you can actually track all of your stats all your distances where you miss greens, which clubs you're best with, etc., etc. The sky is the limit, really. So if you haven't heard of Cobra Connect and you don't know much about it, um, we've done some videos on it in the past, so have a look at those as well. Um, but it, it's really another thing that Cobra add to, to really help the, the end user, the golfer, me and you, the people that are going to be using these products, going out there, trying them, testing them, seeing which one's better than one another. And Cobra Connect is just another... Um, another way of you enhancing your not your golfing experience but also learning about your golf game and improving which you know who doesn't want to do that so in terms of the tech so we've already spoken about the nylon medallion in the back so that really helps Cobra to move weight around and sort of saves weight um, that we can we can move around the the club head there as well so in addition to that um, rad speed has come about because it's radial weighting that um, all of this product line uses and, and that is basically moving weight around the head um, and generally it's all relative to the position of the center of gravity in the head so we see there's more weight low in the heel and in the toe and it's very visible in the toe when you look at the iron because there's this screw there in the um, in the toe of the iron now what that screw does is allow them to uh, really fine-tune where the center of gravity is as well as swing weight when they're manufactured and when they're built for you as well so these come in in two gram increments from two grams all the way up to 16 grams so can really make sure that every set that leaves the factory swing weights properly for you and also gives you consistency at the end of the day when you're out there on the golf course which is obviously very very important now um, it's 10 grams as, as a standard, the, the amount of weight that's in the toe, but like I say, when, when these clubs are built, they'll obviously be swing weighted, and if it needs to come up and down uh, accordingly, they can do. Now, um, this also, we, we've seen in this iron, um, last year's, which you'll remember, had the carbon fiber top line, and certainly when we look at the six iron in this set, so when we get to the longer clubs, we can see that that carbon fiber top line is in there. Now that allows Cobra to save another two grams, which might not sound a lot, but saving two grams means that it can be used and redistributed in the head um, to to help performance. And, and you know, two grams is two grams. We, we still want to try and move that around and, and help you to, to perform better. Now the PowerShell um, construction and PowerShell face particularly, it's 17.4 stainless steel that it's made of, allows it to be made very thin, and quite springy um, so we're expecting uh, quite long distance with these irons as well 
You'll notice some of the lofts are quite um, strong if you, if you look at the specifications of them as well, but just about every iron on the market is now, um, certainly that's in this category, this game improver uh, kind of distancey kind of um, iron category. Now, a lot of people think it's to do with hitting the ball further, and in some instances it is, but with these, because the, the weight is so low in the head and they're so easy to get up in the air, they actually launch quite high. So um, trying to sort of negate that a little bit is, is that process of strengthening loft and, and stop it from just going straight up in the air because we actually want the ball to go forward as well. Another way that Cobra have designed these irons to really help make them a bit more precise and also um, help a, a vast array of golfer is that they've the construction in the heads is slightly different. So your longer clubs from four iron down to seven iron are a two-piece almost metal wood like construction where they're very much designed to to get the ball up in the air a little bit easier flight that ball better which is what most golfers struggle with and in keeping with that cobra have a slightly different groove pattern as well so in the longer clubs um they have a u groove so um called that because it's obviously when you look at a cross section of it it's more of a u shape this helps to increase spin a little bit. So on longer irons, most people struggle to actually flight them because they can't spin them enough. So they don't get the ball in the air, they don't get that ball flight that we're looking for. So in contrast to that, when we look at the lower end of the set, so eight iron all the way down to sand wedge, it's a one piece construction, um, still got the same badging, still same technology in the head there, but with a different groove pattern completely. So this is a V groove, um, which will actually lower the spin. So because of such low um, CG and lots of weight low in the head, we tend to see um, the ball launch high and spin a lot, which is not great for distance and actually gapping the set properly. So actually lowering the spin in these, in these higher lofted clubs is gonna help get that um, nice incremental distance gain with each club. So Cobra have really thought about this set all the way through in terms of the type of golfer that it's aimed at. So trying to get a little bit less spin in your, in your higher lofted shots, more spin in your lower ones to help you with launching the ball. And that's certainly um, what I'm expecting to see when I hit some on the track man here. So let's stop talking about technology. Let's go hit a few shots. Let's see how these perform. Let's get them out on the golf course and then I'll feed back to you exactly what I find. Coming down the 15th hole here at Howley Hall, and I'm just about going to beat the uh, light fading on me. But yeah, I've been playing quite a few holes with the Rad Speed Iron, um, covered in mud. Um, but as you can see, it's pretty wet out here. But so impressed with the performance. They're so easy to hit, really easy to launch. And like I say, that would be the overriding thing I'd say about them is, is just their ease of use. I mean, whether you strike them out the toe or the heel, at the bottom, catch them a bit fat or a bit thin, you get some great ball speed and great distance and don't really lose too much. And, you know, I, I haven't hit, you know, flawless golf shots out here at all. I've hit some pretty poor ones. Uh, I've hit some good ones as well. But, um, I mean, the distance when you catch these out the middle is just phenomenal. I mean, I've just tried hitting a few shots here. I was being a bit silly really with the yardage. I had over 180 from back in the fairway there. I've just hit three balls from there and I've nearly got them on the green, you know, with a with an eight iron, which is just silly. But um, 
and and they don't look really strong. They it looks like a seven iron when you sit it behind the ball, basically, which is which is essentially what it is. Um, so it, like I've said earlier, the number on the bottom of the club means nothing. Just look at the yardage, look at the loft of the club that you're hitting, and and try and hit something that's gonna gonna go that kind of distance. But it was really really good to um, to get these out on the golf course today. I really enjoyed hitting them, and definitely if you're a player who struggles to get the ball in the air and maybe doesn't hit the middle of the club face very often, these are definitely one you should be considering. So now that I've hit shots with um, all three of these rad speed irons that we've got, so the pitching wedge, eight iron and six iron, you can see the numbers that we got on the track man there. So if we look at, let's look at the distances, all right? Because that's what everyone seems to care about straight away. So um, pitching wedge, we can see there, just short of 140 yards as an average. We can see 176, 177 with the uh, eight iron and 213 with six iron. Now, these are longer than I would normally hit with my own clubs, but I would expect that. The lofts are a bit stronger. Um, they're, you know, a bit bigger club head, things like that. They're, um, they've got a, a fast springier face, whereas mine are more solid um, forged golf club, which you don't quite get that spring off the face with. But um, yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of what these irons are designed for. You know, they're designed to go a long way. Um, they're designed to be easy to hit, and they're designed to um, really help that player that maybe doesn't strike the middle of the face quite as often. And certainly, they they do that. I mean, actually hitting shots with them, they feel great. They really do. And particularly when you get into that, uh, I say longer iron, six iron. Um, I would class anything that goes over two hundred yards as a long iron. To be fair, um, so two hundred and you know, 213, 14 yards is kind of what I would normally expect to hit. It's between a five iron and a four iron for me. So, um, you know, with this being a six, you know, we take that with a pinch of salt. All of us are educated enough to know that the number that's on the bottom of the club doesn't necessarily pre represent the the club that it that it once was. You know, um, we're going to get more distance out of these, and you know, we we shouldn't really get too hung up on that fact as well actually hitting them they feel lovely they really do i like the shape of them the nice and sort of rounded toe in in the in the irons when they sit there behind the ball you do notice the the kind of bit more um mass on the back of the golf club when you're hitting the six iron you can see it in that playing position when you sit it down but but they they look great behind the ball they, they literally fill you with confidence just sat on the ground the the club heads are quite big um i love that cobra always puts like thicker grips on because that's what i use myself Obviously, we've got Cobra Connect built in these as well, so all that kind of stuff adds to the quality of these irons. Now, um, we've talked about the 3D printing in the in the sort of badging in the back of the golf club as well, really helping them to redistribute weight. And whether you can feel that when you're hitting shots is negligible, but you, you, you shouldn't do really. It is kind of going on in the background. And, and certainly, I, I felt that when I didn't hit um, shots out the middle of the face, I was getting really good distance and um and forgiveness out of it as well so then the ball flight was really good I, I found them very easy to get in the air so if you're a player who um if you're a player who doesn't hit the ball particularly high these these may help you to get a bit more elevation on your golf shots as well there's a lot of mass lower down in the head really helping to do that and that's to some extent why the lofts are cranked a little stronger to try and control that but um some irons out there on the market that fit into this kind of game improver category but also you know add a little bit of distance as well in cranking the loft they actually lower spin and, and make... so we can see that on the track man as well so we we know that um you know a lot of these irons out there like i've said spin quite low you, people struggle to stop them on greens and that's certainly what i see a lot when i'm fitting people but when we're looking at the numbers here you can see that um you know the lowest spinning of all those is obviously going to be the six iron so we can see that still 5300 rpm which is pretty much okay really i mean if we look at where it's carrying and where it's finishing there's only seven yards between where it lands and when it stops and for a shot that's going that kind of distance that's not too bad and we look at the others um you know we're looking two three yards with the eight iron and one yard with the pitching wedge so um you know really really decent numbers and certainly i'm a player who really struggles with the spin climbing a little bit too much for me so these irons really help to control that so the ball flights are pretty good and um certainly it's not like some of those that are out there on the market that you'll have seen that literally people just hit them flat into greens and can never stop them yeah the, the overall distance is great but the difference between carry and total is is too big and a lot of people don't look at that um properly when they're actually selecting a set of irons or or maybe when they're getting fitted for them as well so that's something to bear in mind 
Uh, they are very accurate because of the the control of the spin and the launch characteristics i was able to hit them pretty straight as we can see on now i mean i've hit that one with a an eight iron that i've pulled it a little bit but there you know i've obviously i've hit three half decent strikes in here with each one as you can see on the from the track man but i've actually hit quite a few in other other sessions i've hit i've obviously hit them outside which you've seen as well and played a few holes with them and and yeah they they feel great and and are very very forgiving and easier to hit straight you know certainly if you're a player who wants to work the ball a little bit um these irons probably aren't going to allow you to do that quite as much but that's really not what they're designed for they're designed to go straight and, and long and high and that's exactly what they do so really great fun to test them good to show you them on the track man here as well um and and yeah just kind of back up what we're seeing out there on the golf course but also when i'd initially hit a few when when i got them in here I hope you've enjoyed the video. I've loved hitting these um, golf clubs. I saw them about a month ago uh, and I've been kind of chomping at the bit to have a go with them, particularly with the whole 3D printed story as well and kind of curious about how they would feel. If you've got any questions about the iron or custom fitting in general or anything to do with any new products that are coming out in 2021, then please put your comments below, ask some questions. We love to get them, love to answer them as well. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you all very, very soon.